What is up guys, so the feast here. We're back for another NBA playoffs of this game. Right now, we have uh, upsetting news. The Clippers, I mean like the, the Suns, has won the second OT over Trail Blazers with an upsetting score, 115 to 112, and decided that they could not move on to the third overtime. Uh, that being said, that was the longest game that was ever played, but hopefully this will be the longer game for this one here, if there's a chance for them to score on the run. So, it's the Jazz versus Clippers in Game 4. Will the Jazz take a tie series, or will Los Angeles Clippers take a 3-1 lead? We'll see what happens at this score, if there's a chance for them to knock down the course. So yeah, we talked about that one before. Episode 45 is out. 2K TV versus the world. King Jordan 2K is right down on the line. Welcome so we will keep you guys steady for Pantheon TV USA and also the world of King Jordan 2K plus the top place. It's very hard for them to go for interactive at that point. But there may not be anything going on, literally, if we see it from here. Anyways, let's get you down here in LAC for the Clippers and Jazz. We're back here in Los Angeles, the Clippers of the Jazz, right from one verse fourth seed for this game. And right now, here's DA along on the sideline. Kevin, thanks. Donovan Mitchell grew up around pro athletes. His father worked in Major League Baseball, and Donovan said, I saw guys making millions, staying humble and grounded. I also saw the other side, so I try to treat people right. I grew up that way, and the NBA doesn't change it. Kevin, he's showing as much as he's talking about it. What a great, what a great moment. Thank you, DA. Here are some couple of change-ups here for the lineups. Two city uniforms for the uh, jerseys. Clippers and the uh, Jazz. The key matchup is Mitchell against Paul George on the shooting guard lineups. And Kawhi Leonard against Bogdanovich in small forward positions. And right now, game four is about to start. Jazz, Clippers, who's winning? All right, we got our first one here as Jazz got the ball right away. Kindly hitting the three. The first three-pointer is knocked away. Right now, Donovan Mitchell and the other teams are just trying to hook it up as they after they pick up a loss against the LAC in Game 3. Right now, the Clippers are trying to work their way free if they can keep it up. The first two-pointer is on Paul George. Now Conley, he only has three. O'Neal trying to set the screen here. And now he finds Rudy Gobert, but they missed out. Gobert rebounds it. Conley trying to work it out. Mitchell step around George. The shot's off the mark. The two takes his first rebound here as Ricky Jackson sends along the other way. 
Jackson against Conley. Screen on but two. A good D here on, but on Gobert as the, there is no foul currently on, there's no foul on Utah Jazz. Gobert to Conley. Conley to McDonavich. Pass along to O'Neal. Tough shot. Rebound by Gobert. Mitchell. Trying to set it up. Conley taking a two. Shot's good. Five points for Conley. This by Donovan Mitchell. They're up by five. I mean, they're up by three. Reggie Jackson. Trying to able the long to strip it. The first three-pointer, no good for Paul George, as this one is currently way out of control. O'Neal tried to stick to set the screen again, but not this time. He picks up into Bogdanovich. Conley back to Bogdanovich, shoots it over again. A fighting rebound, but it's Conley with the rebounding. Mitchell back to Conley, shoots right from the box. Again, Utah Jazz missing. Paul George able to get it alone. And that's what happens. They're the rival teams. Utah against U LAC. And stepping out of bounds is Batum. It's Utah ball. Only 439 left. We just got started in the first quarter at that point, so this might be only tough for them to just score it around. And thanks to the Phoenix Suns beating the LAC Clippers, they're moving on to the NBA Finals. Three pointer for Bogdanovich, and he's good! And we're taking a look at Utah Jazz. It's glad that the LAC, LA Clippers are out for this season. So yeah, they really want the Clippers to be eliminated. So that's a good that's good for them. But meanwhile, in the Eastern Conference, we have no idea. The Sixers want the Hawks to be eliminated, so yeah. I have nothing to hear about that one, but that is what they are getting to deserve it for uh, the Greek Freak and the other team. No questions asked. Mitchell shot. Knocked away a appropriate. Around the corner again, Paul George. Paul George delivers the two. Reggie Jackson with the assist. The Clippers are trailing by four. New changeup will be coming in for the Jazz after the next whistle is called. Bogdanovich able to uh, go with the run. Three for Conley. That's good. And he ran over into the fence, so be careful. Eight points for Conley. Reggie Jackson trying to work around the way. Up again, Leonard. Whipping in over McDonavich. The shot's off and again. O'Neal with the rebound, trying to just work the attack run. Mitchell finds Gobert. Oh, he almost got fouled, but Rudy Gobert has worked his way around as McDonavich, I mean, Mitchell picks the assist. First timeout called by LA Clippers. 2.46 to go, 13 to 4 as you score. Chuck is on the sideline. Might be checking out. This is what the rival team is all about. So I'm going to be doing the next video for this se next season of the Clippers versus the Jazz in season six. Yes, I never got a chance to do the WNBA, but if you want to watch this uh, part, uh, I will do that. But I'm not sure if I'm going to try to keep it up. So I'm going to sub out uh, each player. So I'll have um, Yang check in. And then I'll sub out uh, Mike Conley, the, I mean, not Mike Conley, uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little bit confused here, but uh, it should have been Joe Ingles. Yeah, Joe Ingles is going to be checking, checking it in. So, we got to make sure everything's okay. Let's, uh, let's patient, let's crash the offensive, let's just keep the average rolling, and then we'll uh, do play groups. Players are checked in for the Jazz and Clippers. Now Mann is checked in. Joe Ingles is checked in for McDonavich. Then Derek Favors is checked in for Rudy Gobert. Also, Jordan Clarkson is checked in for Mike Conley 
and Donovan Mitchell switches to point guard. Also on the Clippers, we have his uh, we have his Rajon Rondo checking in for Reggie Jackson. Plus Kennard checking it in. That's Yang checking in for uh, for Royce O'Neal. And on the last corner in the possession. And we got a fight rebounding. I mean, uh, man, checking in for a two. I mean, Zubox checking in for a two. The floater goes, and, and we got that Leonard, Kawhi Leonard, got his first bucket. Only two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Mitchell against Favors. Fine skaters. <clears throat> Mitchell stepping a three. In the corner, not a bad start for uh, Donovan Mitchell. And he was thinking that this shot was going to be missed. Well, he got lucky. Kennard, pass to Zubox. Zubox, man, shot's good. Rebounded up already, didn't work out that great. The first assist goes out to Luke Kennard. Mitchell trying to work around free. Moves to Clarkson, sixth man of the year for the Utah Jazz. And Clarkson drives across M1. Ibika Zubox is receiving his first first look. And there is the assistant coach right on the next to Tyrone Lou. That's where he got fired from the uh, Brooklyn Nets, if you know what his name is, the last time. Clarkson shooting one free throw at the game, for a game. <clears throat> I must keep my voice lower down so I make sure it doesn't, uh, so I don't hear, so I don't, so I don't ruin my tone of voice. Let's keep it down at that point. Clarkson hits the first free, free throw. He has three. Last minute to go here for the first. Roshan Rondo against Donovan Mitchell. Dubox trying to work his way around. He goes right inside. Roshan Rondo against Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. Kennard, shot's good. And here's your first look here for Kennard's shot. He has manages to make one in. Mitchell spines across, favors. Clarkson for three. No free pointer here for uh, Mitch for uh, Clarkson as he missed it. Trying to watch a shot, but Mitchell is fouled by the ref as Kawhi Leonard taking his time to hit two free throws. And they're down by seven. 25.1 to go. I like that deco. I'll do the city jersey. Uh, I'll do the city jerseys here, and also if there's a court that says Los Angeles. I like that one. I don't know why. Why would they pick out this one at that point? First free throw is missed. Now Bogdanovich is checked in for Yang. He moves into point four. He's trying hard, but he didn't get his timing right. Kawhi tries again. And there's the free throw pointer in. Only one out of two for Kawhi Leonard to claw, and now they're up by six. Mitchell moves to the angles. And he goes back to Mitchell. Mitchell drives in front. His shot's good. Mitchell has taken out two points again. Ten seconds to go. Kawhi Leonard against McDonovich. Man against Ingles. Up and out of Oh, what a deflection here for McDonovich. And our first quarter's done. 21 to 13 is your score. Great alley -oop, uh, Great block for the alley -oop for McDonovich. And we'll be right back with the second quarter. Don't go anywhere. And if you're tuning in for the second quarter, it's about to begin. At that point, you can see Chuck is rolling down his roller skating. 
Of course, he's the mascot for the LA Clippers. Not sure what he was going to do at that point. But he could try to pick it up his timing if he could try to uh, try to keep the pace on. And now here's little Rajon Rondo to Leonard. Vidanovic on a cover. Now cuts it in, shoots up, and he doesn't hit that shot. Favors with the rebound, up over on McDonovich. Now he goes over to Favors. Favors to Conley, layup is good. Conley has picked up 10 points in this game, 2 six, 32 left. Rojan Rondo cutting in. A nice D on Derek Favors as Conley hits the rebound the second time. Conley finds Ingles. He's covered up by man, but he has no score on him. Bounce pass, just a little bit bounce off. Ingles for two. He didn't hit that shot, but he missed it once again. The second time. Leonard tries tries to go to the other hand. Luke Kennard against Clarkson. Rajon Rondo missed the three. Favors with the rebound, trying to pull up a rejection out there. Didn't want to uh, save the deal. Bounce pass. Oh, wow. It seems like we got an open pass here. Derek Favors got his first two-pointer. Unfortunately, the commentator is off, so I will do it at the end of it later. 534 left, Clippers timeout. Make some new changes here. We've just got a little bit better at that point. I'll sub out Joe Ingles. I'm going to have Royce O'Neal check it back in. Derek Favors check him out. Rudy Gobert check in. And then I'll have Clarkson check out. I'll have Donovan Mitchell check in. Push the pace a little bit more. We'll see what we can do. And a new change here, as all five are, are checked in. Five starting lineup players are checked back in. Three, Paul George. Missed the first quarter, but he's got the second. And all five players are checked in, including Marcus Moore Sr. O'Neal trying to shuffle the D. Bounce pass on Gobert. O'Neal outside. Now he dish off to Conley. Double man on him. Open three. Mitchell. That's good. Eight points for Donovan Mitchell in just about under five minutes. 28 to 16 is your score. George picking out the other end. Hines with Moore Sr. His shot's good. This will be his first bucket. Conley going back over again. Trying to pick up the run and do it with no behind the damage. Gobert trying to pick up the tempo. Conley stepping it back. Oh, he's trying to get him away from him. Gobert. It's a two-pointer. That's four points. Four rebounds, no assists. And here's a shot, and oh, he was late. Rudy Gobert has gotten himself fouled. First personal. 4.16 left to go here in the second quarter. Marcus Moore Sr. was saying, and, ow, what was that? Ah, what was that for? Well, that wasn't the right idea to say that. I know that Rudy Gobert was late, so it looks like I messed up the controller. I better stop complaining about controllers and keep doing it over and over again. It's hard for me to do it right. That is sports basketball was the worst part I played because I my controllers are bad and it's not working too good. I can't I can't help it. I just couldn't figure out how to just win it. It was very bad for me to just play it. I'm not best I'm not best guy doing deck of sports. I know, if you like to check out the marathon, you can just do that. But be mindful, I'm not gonna play again at all. At all. I'm serious. Here's a second free throw for Morris Sr. 
Only 4.13 to go. Conley, he gets off to Gobert. Trying to sweep it up. He attacks it in the paint and he gets six. Four minutes go here in the first half. Checks in against Conley. The two on the outside. Looking over, Jackson. Trying to fight for it and a tip off for McDonough to Conley is, is saved. Another miss for a uh, missed shot for uh, the Clippers. Royce O'Neal having, having difficulty, but Rudy Gobert gets five as rebound. Rebound number five. Bounce pass. Nice pass by Royce O'Neal. That's eight for Gobert. Expecting that he did not get a block at that at that moment, so we're waiting for him to just see what he could do if he finds himself. Plus, he's the best defenseman of the year, so hopefully he they'll call on Rudy Gobert or other players. George against O'Neal, shots up. He hasn't hit the three pointer again. It's messed off. Rebound for Jazz and Clippers, 13 and 6. Off rebound was just Jazz. Great pass by Mike Conley as Bogdanovich gets 5. And Conley, on the other hand, just got, a, got the assist. Timeout on Clippers, 2.29 to go. 36 to 20 is your score. After this game, we're going to go back to New York and we'll do the Sixers versus the Knicks. That's going to be next for them to just keep the target on roll. And I'll set off Mike Conley. I'll go ahead and take him out and I'm going to bring... I'm going to move over Jordan Clarkson and taking out Donovan Mitchell. I don't know who's going to be in there at that point, so... So it could be Mike... It could be uh, Jordan Clarkson, but, I, but I'm not sure if I have it right. Well, let's see what happens at this point. Anyway, making new changes. <clears throat> Must need water. I'm thinking so, so yeah. And now a new change here. Three players are checked out. Rudy Gobert stays on the court, but Donovich O'Neal and Clarkson. Oh! It looks like Gobert just got a steal and now it turns the other way. Clarkson for three. That's good. And the fans are complaining about what happened with the steal. It should have been, it should have been just kicked away. How did he get that steal in the first place? I, uh, we don't know. Reggie Jackson, but two, George, able to take the shot, he just wanted it, but he missed off directly again. Naren Wook here from Rudy Gobert, no scoring droughts here for, for the Clippers. <clears throat> Clarkson finds O'Neal, crowds are silent, five to shoot. Clarkson takes a drive, and that's going to go up for two points again. Eight points for Clarkson. Under 90 seconds to go here in the first half. 41 to 20 is your score. Coming back in is Reggie Jackson with a dunk. And now they're trying to keep it going. 1.15 left to go. Clarkson trying to look for a first goal freely. O'Neal, fade off shot, and he finds himself another rebound, six in a row for Gobert. And now it's McDonough taking a layup, and with seven points, a counter and down. Again, Paul George. Pass to two. it's good. And Paul George making another assist here. We're down to 46 seconds to go. Mitchell try to wake out freely. McDonough try to cut for the loose. 
goes over by the senior, and that was a good good D on Moore Senior. Another miss on Mondanovich. Jackson against Clarkson. Screen number two, three. Corners off, and offensive fouls is on Morris Sr. with the loose ball foul. That will be his first new change here, as Favors and Ingles are checked in for Gobert and Bogdanovich. I mean, O'Neal, for sure. 15 seconds left to go. He goes to Gobert. Bogdanovich trying to go right back after it, now with Ingles. Goes right to Clarkson. Three seconds, and no shot for here for the Jazz. That will be the first half close for this game, 43 to 24. The Clippers need to find its way to get back in the game. Same thing like Rudy Gobert, it's just like going for a killer. Let's go down to David Aldridge on the sideline. David? Kevin, thanks. Joined by Coach Quinn Snyder. Quinn, your team is competing at a very high level. What do you think that's happening? Well, you know, we're trying to defend, and uh, you know, we've been a little bit fortunate too to miss some shots, but you know, more than anything, we just want to try to guard and make it hard on them. Got to make them feel good. Thanks, Quinn. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, DA. Please stand by for the second for a halftime show. And if you're joining us here for the second half, we'd like to welcome you back here for this part of the game of the Clippers vs. Jazz, and we're talking about Mike Conley, his star of this game, he wasn't able to score his timing, but moments away, he might be able to just go for the score and have run. So he wasn't able to pick it up. But he has more to uh, officially just get into the game and then try to help out the teammate to tie this big run here. Well, we'll see what happens here. If there's a courage to make them run well and again. George finds Leonard, and he's fouled by Royce O'Neal, his first. Now the first free throw for the second half will be Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard seemingly gets wanted to just go right up again, but he was like short, and he got a little bit of push already on Royce O'Neal. That was a little too much for him to just start off in this part of the game. Now two shots are coming for Kawhi Leonard. Crowd, I can hear an MVP, but it's not going to be enough for Kawhi Leonard to pick it up. Last shot. The second free throw is good for Kawhi Leonard. And here's Mike Conley, only 10 points occurred, just like a number on the back. They're all shouting defense. Mitchell for three. He doesn't bite it off. And he's neutralizing the target. 11 points in the game. Jackson against Conley. Only 6.30 occurred in the third quarter. George slams it down. And they are looking back over again. Nine points for Paul George. 6.17 to go. Moving around again, Conley. Pass to Gobert. Gobert, Conley, back to Gobert. Now he rolls back to Donovan Mitchell. Steps up over Jackson. And he doesn't hit that target here. He missed again. George for an open two look. That's going to go in. Now they're, now they're sprucing it up a bit. 46 to 30. Conley to Gobert. Coming in is going Bogdanovich. O'Neal outside. Oh, and he was just a bit late, but he made that three. He's okay on that one. I thought it would be a missed three opportunity on that run. Kawhi Leonard with the screen. Outside look. Three. Kawhi. Kawhi. Leonard. Time out. Utah. 519 left. 49 to 33 is their score. 
just going right in the game there. First half was a was a terrible start, but the second half might be tough for them to get back in the game. So we'll see what happens here as I'm switching in. Nope. Uh, let's get to see. Limit. Patient. Big and roll. Auto. And now big group substitution here for the Clippers and the Jazz. New changing here as Donovan Mitchell's already checked out. And Joe Ingles comes in for uh, for Mitchell. No switch here for the Clippers. Only one occurred. But Donovich able to hit the two, and Joe Ingles gets the assists. One, one point behind Kawhi Leonard. This Bogdanovich, nine points. But now it's Kawhi taking a two. He slammed it down pretty quick. 12 points in three point lead. Conley, pass over to Bogdanovich. Moore Senior with it. Gobert seemingly doing a screen. Ooh, a little brutal up already, but now the foul's on the two. His first. LA Clippers fans do not like that call because if McDonovich is just not working around him, it was very hard for them to just teach a game. And when there is no chance out there, I mean, there's no way that he could have gotten better if he can reach it across. Now shooting two coming up for McDonovich. Shots good for Bogdanovich, and now the new change for Clippers is Luke Kennard checking for Chris Paul. Whoops, Paul George. He's on Phoenix Suns. Don't. Please do not spoil me. I'm trying to get a name right. <clears throat> and now Bogdanovich has hit two free throws of that game. 11 points. One point behind Kawhi Leonard. A pass deflected, and the Clippers keeps it alive. Last touch on Conley. Good try on that D. But might have to be careful with the foul. The two, pass to Jackson. Jackson for the three. And he missed off the target. O'Neal has three rebounds, only two for Reggie Jackson. Royce O'Neal. Finds Gobert. Oh, what a play! Rudy Gobert with ten. Ten and ten. Now here's Reggie Jackson. He tries again. Now pass to Morris Sr. Morris kicks it in the paint at the corner, and he doesn't bite it in. Gobert's got a number eight for the rebound. Rudy Gobert trying to slow it down across. He just tried and didn't manage to make it through. O'Neal to Conley. Cutting in. Shot was a little early, but Rudy Gobert, but Ingles knocks the two. He just had it all, and Rudy Gobert's got number three. Conley passed to Leonard. Leonard seemingly to focus up. Shots good! And now here picking up by 20. Only 3.15 to go. Conley trying again. Crowds are staying silent. O'Neal Ingles. Shoots up. He doesn't hit that throw. He missed it. He only has two, just like his number. Turn out, Utah. 2.52 to go, 57 to 40. Is your score for the second half. Looks like Rudy Gobert wasn't able to focus on the block, so he didn't have a choice yet. Let's see what the different comparison for each team. Yeah, there are no blocks yet. I had only two steals for the Utah Jazz. That was it. Hopefully there might be one block here on each team. I don't think about the jazz motion. 
Formation on offense, let's do playthroughs. We'll have uh, Bogdanovich come in. Unfortunately, um, um, I think playthroughs will put up Mike Conley. I don't know which one. Hold up. Yeah, he's losing it. All the players are going to be checked out. New changing here for Jazz and Clippers. Derek Faders checked in for Rudy Gobert. I bet it's Joe Ingles checking out as Gordon Clarkson checks in. As Joe Ingles is checking in to move over to small forward. Derek Faders. It's a uh, two, but he didn't hit that off. Kawhi Leonard going back in the game. 2.30 left. Mike Conley trying to seek out the run. Pass up to Favors. For three, no good. Boy Leonard trying to pick up the run. And it's Mann with the first point and Leonard picks the assist. The claw is reaching from game four. Eagles try to work around the other hand. Only two minutes occurring in the third quarter. Around Kennard and Jordan Clarkson picks up 10. That will be 57 for the Jazz, 58 for the Clippers. It's a close night. Kawhi Leonard was able to just see it out with that run. Makes a two. Timeout on Utah Jazz. Only a minute and 37 left to go here. It looks like I'm not going to need to uh, sub out each player to make a change. So anyway, let's let's take out Mike Conley and Royce O'Neal. And I'll have Donovan Mitchell check in along with Boban McDonovich. I've seen a lot of good play out there. We're, we're, we're rolling fine. Oh wait, McDonovich, he needs a little bit more. So uh, I'm going to give him a second right now and I will have Ilya Sofa try it. Let's do with Donovan Mitchell. And game plan, let's just switch it over and try this one. And that's it. Just a little bit of change up here. Two players are getting tired already, so, so I gotta give them a rest. Mitchell trying to work freely. Again, Clarkson on the corner, I mean the wing. He only has, he only has 10. And he's fouled by Mann. First personal, second team foul on the Clippers. Quinn Snyder trying to work around here again. Two shots is Jordan Clarkson. His first shot makes it in. Only one player checking out is Zubox. And checking in now is Nicholas Batu. And his second shot's good for Jordan Clarkson. We're getting down to 80 seconds. 61 to 46 to score. Orshan Rondo finds George. George cuts in. He drives it freely and he rolls around. How many was it? It was like seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was it. He just rolled around here. It just took a little while to just bend it in there. Mitchell, bounce pass the favors. He scoots up. He doesn't hit that point. Ingles. Now here's how he's so far. He didn't able to, end, to hesitate. His screen coming. He's fouled by Nick Batu. Second personal, third team foul on LA Clippers. 36.4 seconds has occurred. It's very tough for him to score big here. Now Eric Ely so far shooting two. Nick Batum is having hard, He's having trouble to keep the show on. Keeping the game on. 
One more left. Four timeouts occur by Utah and LAC. Or I meant to say LA Clippers. <clears throat> now here's Rondo. Rondo. He doesn't have anything to score yet. George off the carry. A great D on Ingles. Mitchell try to spread it around a bit. Now he goes over to Ingles. Ingles to favors. Shoots over George. Clarkson making another rebound. That's two in a row. Clarkson trying to work it freely. And Illy Sofa going deep. Oh, he made the three. Well play out there for Illy Sofa. And we are underway to start the fourth quarter when we come back. Utah Jazz trying to look out freely to just go for 2-2 two -two run. We'll be right back. Before starting the fourth quarter, here's a look at the State Farm Assistant game. And we are checking out the Utah Jazz that we were just talked about it before. That was the other quarters later. It was Derek Favors that puts up Mike Conley with a run. And seeming like this was tough for him to score. But for big moments, that's what he has done before. And if you're joining in for the fourth quarter, we'd like to welcome you back here for another game at Staples Center. And now it's time to finish off the fourth quarter for game four. Here's Jordan Clarkson following along as Ingles. They're all fueled up and ready to go. And for the Jazz, it's Donovan Mitchell, Derek Favors, Jordan Clarkson, and Boban McDonovich. And for the Clippers, Mann, George, Kawhi Leonard, Rajon Rondo, Nicholas Batu, and Terry Mann. On that drive for Kawhi Leonard is no good. Bogdanovich has keeping himself with the first rebound. He never got a chance to do a lot of rebounds here, but that's what he has done. Lining a bounce pass is Derek Favors. Three-pointer Clarkson. Outside, no good. Ingles for three. Barry's the, Barry's the triple. That's five points for Ingles. He's got it up by five. Another switch up here, just looking over. And now timeouts on LAC. 5.54 to go. Not too much happening out there, but those teams are just coming back, right in and out. And now for the Suns, they just made a lead up 3-1. That was it. Nothing else to say about it. Royce O'Neal, I'm going to check in for Joe Ingles. And I'm going to have some game plans here and do some uh, coaching emphasis. Only two steals for the Utah Jazz. No blocks for the, for the Jazz and Clippers. And only three on the Clippers on the turnovers. Let me just choose uh, pick and rolls. We'll just try to pick and focus and see what happens. New changing here as Royce O'Neal checked in for Joe Ingles. Rudy Gobert has also checked in for Derek Favors as Favors moves to point forward. George able to score and they are keeping up the pressure on. Four players are checked in. Now Mitchell, he checks over to Favors. Oh, steal for Marcus Moore Sr. And here's Kawhi Leonard attacking the rim and he goes right on down too. Paul George has got a steal picking up assist. That's good. That will be the first steal for the Clippers. First turnover on the uh, on the Utah Jazz. Oh, Donovan Mitchell got lucky again. He's got 13. But Kawhi Leonard is all the way in the lead. Holding out before then. Regent foul falling on Derek Favors, his first. Rudy Gobert, gonna have to watch the block. I don't see anybody. Jackson, able to scurry the pass, but it was back again. Leonard against O'Neal. Shoots over O'Neal. That shot's good. He had made another two-pointer. 
Leonard's got 25, but Donovich for 11. He's way in a lead over Robert Donovich. Gobert, oh, he tacked it in! Before Nick Batu could have blocked that defender off. And it didn't cut on. 12 points for Rudy Gobert. Mitchell finds Leonard. I mean, Leonard finds, Ricky Jackson finds Leonard. But he missed sometimes, missed it again. Mitchell, pass to Gobert. Screen coming in. And he's reaching up, but the foul's on Marcus Morris Sr., his second. And it looks like the fans are, looks like the fans are the LAC Clippers fans are in complete silence. Rudy Gobert shooting two. We definitely got a flag up for the, for my woodworking project. Looks like we're getting. I'll be showing you what. I'll be showing you how this is all. How this is set up for our next video. And I also I will send it on Instagram too, just in case something I made new changes to your outside in the uh, in the patio. Underneath. It's like everything's turning out very good. Rudy Gobert hitting two free throws, got 14 points. Here's Frankie Jackson, he only has two, but he has to find himself to get a second bucket around. Now it's more senior picking up a layup drive. They're hitting the glass board. And that was the two that pick up the assist at that point. Gobert trying to do it again. Gobert over to O'Neal. Sometimes goes back to Clarkson. Clarkson up with the shot. That's slightly missed. Another miss by Utah. Leonard taking it a rim, but it didn't go in. O'Neal tried to go free. Finding his favors. A quick bounce pass back to O'Neal. Shot was off. And it's Kawhi Leonard with the foul. The Claw has received his first personal second team foul on the Clippers. So Royce O'Neal will have to shoot two free throws. It, they stop the clock at 3.15 to go. Sometimes it gets in the way for those defenders. First shot. That's handled it in. And now Bogdanovich and Conley are checked in for Clarkson and Favors. Back to the starting five. Just like the Clippers. Um, they had a starting five first before Utah did. It was much better to see them play. And he missed the second free throw, so it's one out of two for Royce O'Neal. Jackson finding his George. He picks it up around again, and we got an assist by Ricky Jackson. We're all over down to three minutes here in the fourth quarter. Jazz 76 to 58. They're way ahead at that point. Looking for himself to score big here. Shots good. Mitchell is perceiving another two. Looks like he's using the point for the paint. And the timeout called is on LAC. Clippers really got to try to work on there. They're down by 20. I don't see them. I don't see anything changing. Perhaps, unfortunately, we're subbing out Royce O'Neal. And I'm going to have Billy Sopa check back in and Mitchell check out. I'm going to have Oni check in and try it for the first one. Patient on the offense, we'll get the pick and rolls and an auto. Now it's time to present your New Balance player of the game. And this one goes out to Mike Conley. Only two her, doesn't give up. And that's why he has shown before about Donovan Mitchell doing it more differently than ever. But Mike Conley, he has done himself a great basket, great save, and good on good passing strategy. 
sometimes the assist also pops in too. So at that point, Mike Conley has done 10 points, 3 rebounds, and 4 assists in, its, in each game. Kawhi Leonard, 3! Clock is winding down at 2.30, the Clippers still have time. Oh! It seems like Mike Conley is revenging on Reggie Jackson. Somehow it's really a sofa for a three-pointer. That could it be Conley's fifth assist at each game. Boy later. Oh! He slipped. He wiped out. I need to see that one again. Hmm. Did he just wiped out? I better look at it again. I think he, he, he did. Oh, no, it didn't work. That's going to be a very tough for them. Uh, he just almost traveled it. I think we would have challenged that play. I don't know what this is called. Hmm. This is tough. We're not sure what it's going to happen. He has his, yeah, he has his hand on, let me hide it for a second. Yeah, I think he has his hand on the, hand on the court. And he has a ball. He's been spun out. Yep. 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 I think so. But he lost it anyway. So yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like a person stealed it. That was him. That was him. Oh, he got one. He got his first turn up, first steal. Yeah, that was gonna be a very tough. Call. That's gonna be a tough call already. It seemed like uh, yeah, this is not a travel. I'm sure that it didn't help. Save the ball. It was very tough for him. Anyway, back to the game. Two minutes going by. Eli Sofa. Shots good. Rudy Gobert receiving another assist. Yeah, I could hear that. Four assists for uh, Rudy Gobert. And we're only under two minutes, like I just said. Morris Senior for two. That's good. They're still down by 10, 20. But not sure if they can attack it that one again. He finds Oni. First shot. Lay off the mark. That will be rebounded by Paul George. Paul George outside, covered by Rudy Gobert. Uh, and he makes a shot over Gobert. Sometimes he, there are no blocks here in game four, so that turned out to be just it. Conley over to LA Sofa. Nice ball movement here for Utah, and Conley taking a two. He's off the mark. We're only about last minute to play in this quarter. Jackson. Sometimes he does not make the three, and that's gonna be it. That's gonna be Reggie Jackson on cold. Gobert to Odie. Back to Rudy Gobert. Over by two. The shot is marked the miss. 36 seconds to go. Leonard. Morris Senior. Three. Kawhi Leonard. 30 seconds left. 83 to 68 to score. Now it's McDonavich in the corner. Over to Claw. And rebounded by Rudy Gobert. 10 seconds to shoot. Oni, first one to shoot. That's good. That's going to be his first three pointer for Oni. And McDonavich has two assists. Last possession for Clippers. Sometimes it doesn't go well. The final score for tonight's game is 86 to 68. So that means the series is tied 2-2, and we'll be back again in game five at Utah. Our last matchup will be Knicks versus the Sixers in game four at the Garden. Time to send you down to David Aldridge. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Mike. Congrats on the win. It looked like you guys stayed with your identity tonight. You think so? Yeah, we wanted to win. 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 We wan
want is to play our game, you know, stick to what we do best, get the ball on the side, score in the paint, uh, just try to make easy plays. And I think that's what we did, and I ran with this build off of that. You guys are one of the best teams at staying to what you do. Congrats on the win. Back to you, Kevin. All right, DA, thank you so much. Thank you for watching for this part of Game 4 of the NBA Playoffs in the second round. And all the teams are just really liking there are no blocks here. Well, there will be more next time in Game 5. So peace out, bitches, for as a while as the NBA Playoff Dial. We'll catch you guys next time. Until then, in the Western Conference and Eastern Conference. See you next time. Bye. You've probably heard how Tony is so famous. In fact, you've probably heard how Tony was the greatest. I'm black and proud, honestly, I'm fateless. But y'all whack clown smirk, y'all think I'm faking. But truth be told, y'all turds, y'all just hate. And y'all yearn for rooms as gold in my rankings. While y'all fake as haters, traitors, y'all are Satan. Y'all keep saying y'all will make it, I'm still waiting.